Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do parameter sweeps in LT Spies. For instance, in this circuit that we have been working with, which is an inverted amplifier with a gain of minus 10, well, let's start by conducting an operating point analysis, so a Spice Deductive OP. When we do an operating point analysis, we can use the probes to look at voltage levels and current levels, like the voltage at the input is 1 volt, the voltage at the inverted input, we expect that this is going to be, since we have negative feedback, like the one at the no inverted input, so it's going to be very close to zero. There you go. The voltage at the output should be minus 10. We got it there. Let me just put here 15, a minus 15. The rails. Right? Input, in, inverting, output. We can also look at currents. The current here should be 1 volt over 1k. We're talking about 1 milli in the other direction, so in that direction should be minus 1 milli. Well, we got it. Or the current here, also opposite polarity, also 1 milli. Okay. This voltage here, this zero, you should know that you can see if something is really zero or not by actually amplifying it. You can do mathematical operations on a node. We assume, ideally, that the inverting input follows the non-inverting input when you have negative feedback, which we have, but it is not exactly zero, right? It is that the difference is very small because when you multiply it times the open loop gain, which may be 10 to the 6 or so, it, the output is still finite. So this is in the order of 10 to the minus 5 or so. So if I multiply it times, say, 100, we should see a wiggle there. Actually, we are doing operating points, not transient analysis. We'll do then transient analysis. So this is operating point analysis. That's very well. Let's go ahead and imagine that we wanted to explore what happens as we change RF. Right? Imagine that we want to say, well, how will this change for RF equals 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 10k? You can define the variable RF in in brackets, and then use the SPICE directive step dot step param, and then you, the name of the variable that you define are f in this case, initial value 1k, final value 10k, and the step 1k. Let's go ahead and do this and run the simulation. Okay, let's actually clear some of the traces here. Actually, let me just do this. And look at what we want to do. So as we change the parameter, did this voltage change at all? The answer is no, it's one volt. So let's plot it, we should see a one volt. Fine. What about the output voltage? Well, for the first one, for RF equals 1K, this 1K over 1K should be 1 volt, minus 1 volt, because it's inverting. We got it. But we went changing it, so it goes from minus 1 volt all the way to 10 volts. You see, here in the x-axis, we have RF for 1K, 2K, 3K, etc., all the way to 10K, and we see that the output correctly is from minus 1 all the way to 10k. So this is sweeping one parameter. You can do that with an operating point analysis. You can also do it with a transient analysis. So let me put a sinusoidal input. Zero offset, amplitude of 1, frequency of 1k. And um, let me actually change the operating point to a transient analysis. Transient analysis is a time domain analysis looking at the signals in the time domain. I'm going to look at this for 10 milliseconds, so 10 cycles. And first, let me not have the parameter. 
Let's run to the tank. Okay. So we should see a gain of 10. We see it there. Inversion. So we have the minus the 180 degrees phase shift. So what should we see if we do a parameter sweep in a transient? So we define RF as a variable. We go ahead and add a spice directive. So we should see this being again from minus one, minus two, minus three, all the way to down. Let's check it out. There you go. So this is a good example also of operating point. So DC analysis, transient, time domain signal analysis, AC analysis, frequency response. So let's do an AC analysis. For that, you need to make sure that you have in the small signal AC parameters and amplitude. We do have a phase, we're going to put zero. I'm going to make this information visible in the schematic. So you have it there for AC. Let me actually move this. That's for transient. This is for frequency response analysis. And so I go to the SPICE directive. Right click on it, and I'm going to do, oops, an AC analysis in decibels, 1000 points. And I'm going to go from 1 in hertz all the way to, let's say, 10 megahertz. And what should we see? Let's see what we expect, right? At one hertz, this is a amplifier with a gain of initially one, so that will be zero dBs, and then two all the way to ten, right? Actually, let me do it different. In this case, I'm going to do well. That's fine. Let's do it as like this. AC. So we, will see, we should see frequency response for each one of the RFs increasing in gain up to, in the case of 10, it will be 20 dBs. So from 0 to 20 dBs. Let's see if that's what we see. Right there. So let me don't put the face in this case. See from 0 all the way to 20 dBs the frequency response. Now, if you didn't watch the early video and you say, how can I have a frequency response? This looks like a low pass filter and I don't have a capacitor in the feedback. Correct. That's because operational amplifiers have a finite bandwidth. And this one has a bandwidth of around one megahertz, after which you have that attenuation, which is an example of linear attenuation. So we did operating point, transient time domain analysis, so DC time domain analysis, as well as frequency domain analysis, the frequency response of the amplifier, and all that combined with a parameter sweep. You can sweep as many parameters as you want, and it's the same thing, step param, in variable name, initial value, final value, and steps. Thank you.